Well, we made it to the park. Cole refused to get out of the truck and I would take him in the house and feed him before we went. But he didn't want to go back in the house. He just sat there and looked at me. I'm like, come on, Cole, let's go. He's like, no, I ain't getting out of this truck until you take me to the park. But he's at the park now. Doing his thing, running around. We're, we're at um, where the Yates cider mill is. We're on the other end of it, though. I didn't go all the way to, to the 23 mile road entrance there. You guys remember this path here? That uh, little structure there? That's a landmark there. You guys remember that? That's the road back that way. That's the road we came up. So, a lot of broken trees. Um, I just started recording, but we've been walking for a good five minutes now. I missed showing you guys the, the um, river here. It's really high. It's not so bad this end, but the other end, it's really high at the beginning. But there are people around and want to, you know, be recording while people are milling about. But it's really high. I think those beavers dammed all that up. And that's why it's so high. So they got they're either going to clear it out or whatever. But uh, yeah, the beavers have been doing their damage. You know, but anyway, me and Cole out here enjoying the sunshine. He's uh running about, doing his thing, stretching his legs. Like I said, he's been in the house all day. That water's kind of high over there too. It's really a nice day. Got a few clouds in the sky, puffy little clouds. No sign of rain though. And it's really, really warm. I think they say it's 65 degrees right now. The sky looks good. Uh, I can hear the gunshots shots coming from the range over there. The shooting range. I guess they're going to be open now every day. Through the weekend, whatever. Usually through the winter, they only open on the weekends. But during the weekdays, I guess they're open every day. So, uh... If I wasn't taking gold for a walk, I'd go over there and shoot some. I got plenty of shotgun shells and uh, targets, clay targets to shoot, but that's going to be for another day. But anyway, I didn't want to talk about work on this video, but uh, I got to talk about it. I mean, it just worked out so good. But that job, you know, stopping on me, and I'm working a different job. And I, I like this job much better. It's much closer to the house. I can get I can get to work in 11 minutes, you know, driving. So I'm thinking probably five minutes I would ride my bike. But um, yeah, it's a good job. Uh, just sweeping floors, but I'm getting paid the same as I was getting paid the other job. And it was a lot more stressful. I mean, it wasn't too bad, you know. The time went by fast. I'm not complaining. Any job I'm working, I'm getting paid, I'm happy. They still haven't paid me for that yet though. Usually they pay you that same day, that afternoon after you get off work, your money is in your account. But uh, I think they held it back because they were pissed off about uh, the situation, about how you know people weren't working right and they had to fire us off that, uh, off that account. But um, they're making provisions and they're going through the names and picking who they're gonna bring back, whatever. I don't really wanna go back. You know, I'll go back if there's nothing else going on, but this job is really close to the house. I'm gonna stick stick with this. We got another job for next week. Um, it's a construction, it looks like a house they're doing construction on, and they need some, you know, help out there cleaning up and moving materials and helping the, uh, the professionals do their thing and whatever. More like a laborer, you know, um, I'm thinking about doing that because it's pretty close to the house too. Not as close as this job though, but it's close. And um, it's all week, whatever, you know. So that's five days straight, I know I'll be working. So I'm gonna take that in consideration. You know, I'm looking for something better, but we'll see what happens. If something better comes along, you know, I'll take it. You know, I got my wait and see. I got a job to work Sunday. I'm gonna work Sunday. Uh, it's a afternoon job six o'clock starts at six o'clock in the afternoon so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna make this money while i can every job i can get i'm gonna take i think we'll take this path this time 
the last time we came this way, we took that path there. This time I think we'll take this one. Since Cole is already over here anyway, he, he pretty much made the decision. So this is the way we'll go. Anyway, enough about work. You know, I know that uh, monopolizes a lot of my talking time, but it's very important to me since I am still working. And uh, but uh, now I'm out here enjoying this. That's that's really high right there. That's not usually that high. A lot of fallen trees, a lot of dead trees out here. I don't know if there's some kind of disease going around in these trees, or if it's uh, just natural causes that's making them, you know, die. But it's dangerous because these things are just falling, you know, without any warning. You know, I thought I saw a fish. Might have just been out of the corner of my eye. I thought I saw something. But uh, anyway, my little buddy is happy to get out of the house. Oh, we got some green. Got some green coming in. Okay. Warm temperatures are waking this stuff up. Yeah, we're going across the bridge. Now, Cole, I don't want you getting in that water. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm coming. Go. Good boy. He was waiting for me. <laughs> wow. Look nice out here. There's some people walking around. <clears throat> yeah, it's really nice. Pretty nice. He's getting up pretty far ahead of me now. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. This stream's current is coming really fast. I really wish I had a canoe. I really do. I just don't have the money for it right now. Even though it's at a really good price, it's really cheap. It ain't gonna do nothing but go up from here. But I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I really would like to. But I can't. I gotta be focused. But I, I'm not in any trouble, I'm not struggling or anything. You know, I'm making these days work and everything and I'm putting the money in the bank as soon as I get it you know I'm, I'm good financially that's not the problem I just don't have anything extra you know to do uh, something like uh, you know buying a kayak you know or a canoe just don't have extra that's all I'm not in any kind of financial trouble or problems it's just that uh, you know <clears throat> No extra money. But it's all good. I get a few good weeks in, solid weeks in. You know, I'll catch up. You know, when you quit a job, and it takes a few days to get something else going, you know, that kind of sets you back a little bit. You know, but it's all good. I'm glad I quit. I am so glad I quit. I feel so much better. I'm getting much more sleep. I'm not nearly as uh, irritable. And uh, I feel better. There's some more green. This wasn't like this last week. Yeah, it's a few days. And you got green. Look, these are, these are budding. See that? Spring is springing. Look at that. These are budding. Yeah, all this in here. These must have just popped open in the last couple of days. Yeah. So supposed to get up to 60 this Sunday no 70 70 70 75 so uh, I'm gonna be working Sunday I've already uh, committed but uh, it's all good I do what I gotta do uh, but I'm gonna do some camping this weekend somewhere somehow because uh, it's gonna be so nice I'm not gonna lose those days.
Cole jumped over that? Yeah, he jumped over there. That's nothing for him. But that's a tree that has fallen down there. It's right across the trail. Yeah. That's been there for a while. Yeah. They're usually pretty good at maintaining these trails. A few days, they'll be through here. Stop. Good boy. Good boy. He's okay. Just ignore him. Good boy. Good boy. Keep going. Let's go. Thanks. Oh, that was nice of him. He stopped for those people. That was good. Good boy, Cole. Good boy. Good boy. Leave him alone. Let's go. They had their little dog in their arms. <laughs> A cute little dog, but not my kind of dog. You know? I need a man's dog. Cole is a man's dog. You know, a dog that'll tear your ass up if you do some something stupid. But yet he's small enough to where he's manageable. You know, he ain't gonna destroy your house with his tail, you know, flapping around or whatever. And uh, he ain't too big to where he just takes over the bed. You know, he does that anyway though. But uh, he's manageable size. Unless he's trying to bite you. Then uh, the only thing you can manage to do is get the hell away from him. But uh, he's been pretty good. He's been pretty good. A little buddy's been good. So. Some more people when they got their dog with them. I hope you don't see them. Come on, buddy, let's go. Good boy. Good boy, Cole. Yeah, he didn't even see them. Or the dog. That's good because I was gonna put his collar on him, his shock collar. He knows what's up when I put that on him. So he didn't want me to put it on him. He squirmed and he ran from me and got in the back seat. So I, I explained it to him that you better be good. If you're not good, next time it's gonna be collar all the way. So I think he understood because he's been good. He stopped for those people. He didn't go after them. He, uh, he's staying pretty much in sight, at least up until now. Oh yeah, I see him right up ahead there so he's been good yeah it's a warm day today so I'm glad I got that collar for him like that $65 collar $63 collar $63 for that collar it's a flea and tick collar um, that's the second one I've gotten for him I got him one like that last year and it really worked good so this one I went ahead and got the same one again. Of course, it cost me more. I think it was like $10 less last year. And I was complaining because $50 is a lot to spend on a collar just for fleas. But the damn thing works good. And uh, this one, it came with reflectors. I didn't bother to put them on there, but it does come with reflectors. So if he's running around at night, you know, the reflectors will let people see that he's out there. Puts a good little touch, you know. I don't think it was worth the extra $10, but uh, it's greatly appreciated, even though I didn't use them. It's good to know they did something. You know, I may put them on there at some point, but uh, we seldom go out at night. But uh, they should be on there though, in case he gets lost or something and he's running around at night. You know, I'm really curious as to what he would do out here if he was by himself. Good boy, good boy, this way, come on, come on, this way. This way, go, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy. I didn't want him to mess with those people. But he came on this way and we made it around him. So that's good. 
anyway we're almost at a turnaround point so this is a good little walk here and it's a little warm so I got a, I got one layer too many on I wish I had left that uh this vest at home but that's okay better to be a little warm than freezing cold okay that's a hill right there I'm gonna go up that and then that's gonna be it we turn around and coming back this warm weather has brought people out so we're we're gonna start encountering a lot of people here on this main trail because uh, this is the cider mill trail here here we go some people coming there now look at that down there that stuff's growing everything is coming to sprout looking good anyway I'm gonna stop it right here because we're gonna go back to the truck so thanks for watching see you on the next one